what's being called a global plea deal covering four states. Former Saint star Darren Sharper will be sentenced to close to six decades in prison for drugging and raping women. Sources tell WDSU Sharper will plead guilty to two counts of forcible rape and a count of simple rape in Orleans Parish, stemming from incidents that happened back in 2013. Sharper will receive a 20 year prison sentence for those crimes. Sports anchor Fletcher Mackle is live with tonight's top story. According to information that's already been released and our sources, Darren Sharper will be sentenced to 57 years total in prison, but he could be released in far fewer. Here's how it breaks down. Sharper will plead guilty to two counts of forcible rape and one count of simple rape here in Orleans Parish. He'll be, he'll be sentenced to 20 years. Sharper will plead no contest to simple rape in Los Angeles, and he'll also receive a 20-year sentence in California. Earlier today, Sharper pleaded guilty to sexual assault and attempted sexual assault in Tempe, Arizona, and he was sentenced to nine years. And Sharper will reportedly be sentenced to eight years in Nevada, for allegedly sexually assaulting two women in Las Vegas. While those sentences add up to 57 years, as part of Sharper's deal, the sentences will be concurrent, not consecutive, meaning all the years run together as one, in essence, shortening the overall time served. So some legal analysts say Darren Sharper could be out of prison in 10 to 20 years. As part of this deal, Sharper has to officially enter pleas in all jurisdictions. He's expected to travel to New Orleans next month to plead guilty to the charges he faces here. Darren Sharper has been jailed in Los Angeles since January of 2014. Adriana? All right, thank you, Fletcher. Well, joining us live for more analysis on what the Sharper sentences means for this case here in New Orleans, we have legal analyst Robert Jenkins. Thank you so much for being here. Given the parole guidelines, it is possible that despite this 57 year sentence, he could be out in less than 20 years. Well, the 57 is the numbers in total, right. but they're going to run concurrent all together. So the maximum time he would serve would be 20, but because of the parole considerations and the plea agreement, and he's, he's agreeing to testify against others, he will probably serve somewhere between 10, 12, 15 years or less, depending on what it is he has to do. So, but the most important thing is that when he gets out, he also has to register, register as a sex, sex offender, offender for life, and that's yeah. the entire life, along with some classes and things of that nature. Well, based on what you've seen here and the way this sentence could play out, what does this mean for his co defendants, Lachardi well, and Nunez, and how does it affect them? We all know that the agreement is but to testify and give truthful information on the others and others that haven't been named. So, what's happening now, they're probably already at the table with the district attorney's office trying to cut a deal and saying, what can we do to help ourselves? Because the agreement is he is going to testify. That's a part of any plea agreement. All right. Thank you, Robert Jenkins. We appreciate the insight. We